Uh, typically, someone who presents with a heart attack is, is having poor blood flow to the heart. They're having pain, shortness of breath, uh, the things that cause them to be distressed and, and lead them to come to the emergency room. Patients, women in particular, we worry about because they tend to have disease in the smaller vessels of their heart. Uh, their symptoms may be different than men's symptoms. The traditional, you open a textbook and read about how somebody presents and they talk about an elephant sitting on their chest, crushing chest pain, radiates down their left arm, up into the jaw. That certainly happens, but it's not always the case, and it certainly is not always the case with women. Many women may present with, with uh, neck pain, back pain, uh, they may be short of breath, they may have GI symptoms of nausea, uh, pain in their upper abdomen. Uh, it really can present in many different ways and if these are symptoms that people feel certainly are being reproduced with activity, working around the house, things, things we've talked about, then certainly they ought to seek some attention as to whether or not they may have underlying heart disease that they don't know about. Uh, we want them to get to us as soon as possible, calling 911, being transported by a professional, getting to us as quickly as possible so we can deal with the problem is the best way to go about that. There are several advantages. One is certainly that if there are any life-threatening problems that develop in the course of transporting your loved one to the hospital, the medical personnel can intervene right away. Uh, another big advantage is that they are in constant communication with the emergency department. The emergency department is speaking with the cardiologist. A lot of the data now, we can obtain EKGs on the way to the hospital and have those transmitted so the doctors can read and evaluate those EKGs before the patient even hits the door. I really try and put them somewhat at ease to help them understand that they're in the right place now. They want to be in a place where we see this all the time. This is not routine to them. It's not routine to their family. It's very scary. But for us, it's something that we see and deal with every day. And that's what you want when you're seeing a healthcare professional. You don't like to be the one interesting case they see for the year. Being at a place where we specialize in doing these types of things is important because it provides not only the surgeons, it provides the anesthesiologist, the nursing staff in the operating room or the cath lab, it provides the nurses, the therapists on the floor, everybody who makes a difference in the outcome of that patient's care.